Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. We're back here with Rick and Morty. Season 6, Episode 4. Last episode, we had a realistic video game and incestual clone sex. Yes, we did. Would it be incestual? Well, yeah, because if they could have a baby, it would be retarded. It would be retarded, yeah. Well, the idea is, but they couldn't have a baby because they're... But, yeah, I guess if you took two cousins and they're women or men... It'd be, still be incestual. It'd still be incestual, yeah. Same thing with two twin sisters. It's incestual, clone sex, the baby would be retarded. Very Game of Thrones material. But uh, Jerry turned into a pill bug. When yeah. When he found out, later on, between Rick and the Baths arguing, he comes out. Basically, he wants us to give his stamp of approval. He doesn't like to be dismissed. Yeah. And he gives his stamp of approval. He does get to participate. And later, he tries to go to the Jerry daycare to find another Jerry. Yeah. And it but turns, they touch turns each out they know. <laughs> yeah. That some Jerry's appear there to do such a thing. You can't come here by yourself, sort of deal. What's funny is... Leaves, meets a Jerry in the alley. Yeah. They gave a kiss. Mm -hmm. They leave. But it was real quick, though. Was it like, I'm going to try it, and if I don't like it, I'm, that's it? I guess. We missed the, the Venusian wine, evidently, in the last episode. Yeah. Uh, evidently, that's something to do with a love potion. But, yeah. Um, yeah, like it... Yeah, so it's almost like Rick kind of put them down that path. But he obviously put it away... Close it and th through the controller in the yeah the grinder. Well, I wonder if it was just part of a plan to get them to be closer, yeah, and to avoid yeah them singling him out by he he formed something there to divert them going into the future. Like he, ins he inserts something. Yeah, he in there, creates like, that problem. So yeah. okay. Also, we had a question that we never answered in the post talk. Who was Nolan North's character? So it turns out. After some research that Nolan North is actually Jerry's friend that's trying to dissuade him from pursuing Beth yeah. when they're in high school. I'd be lucky to be turned down, but he said something like that. I'd be torn lucky apart, to get torn like, apart by Beth yeah. Sanchez. Yeah. The episode gave us some laughs, which the previous episode didn't, so it was appreciated. Guys, before we jump into episode four, we just want to say thanks to our patrons. If you guys want to support us, just go to patreon.com slash thirdstreet. There's a link below. Over there, we have two weeks early access. We have voting for TV shows, movies, etc. And you can watch the full-length uncut reaction to this and all of our content. That's it. We're going to jump in. I was totally talking to you and you acted like I wasn't there. I did? Oh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Technically, that was my night person. Been having him do crunches while I sleep. Check it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have my night person learn me Spanish so I can pass my test next week. Hey, hey, hey no one gets a night person but me. Oh. This tech is way too advanced for you, Zeebs. <laughs> Zeebs? <laughs> okay, fine. F*** it. Everybody gets a night person. Whatever. Stick out your fingers. He cracked kind of soon. Yeah. What's up, ladies? Want to see something? Some of you want to drop this bowling ball on my abs? Hell yeah, I'm only human. Uh, watch this. What's up, ladies? You ready, Morty? The stream's about to go live. <laughs> <laughs> you two are being a couple of Debbie down there. Wait until night, Jerry reads about this. You figured it would interfere. I feel like something's gonna happen, yeah. It's... Swans! And they come in all sorts of styles. Neon, plaid, orange. I mean, I even got a pair with that little, uh, uh the raccoon man from that one movie, uh, printed on it. Chewbacca! Do yourself a favor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more thing. Night Jerry said Night Summer would appreciate it if everybody could rinse off their plates after eating. What? You know, rinse the schmutz off after eating. They exist only to do the sh** we don't want to do. So until further notice, which will be never... Request denied. <laughs> what the c**k? Where are the dishes? Uh, Dad? They're in here. They busted up all our dishes. What are we supposed to eat off of now, brains for shit? It reminds me of, uh, which movie was it, The Avengers, where Thor goes and sees 
Yeah, the, from the troll. The, uh, the dwarf. Make, yeah, yeah, the dwarf from uh, Game of Thrones. Peter yeah. Dinklage. Yeah. We'll eat off these. Brains for shit. <laughs> he just got a bunch in his <laughs> of Why won't you rinse your dishes? It takes two seconds. If you don't, the Schwartz tries and makes the... What, what are you doing? If you refuse to clean your dishes, then I will have to do it for you. Your machine allowed me to steal the night, and soon I will seize the day. Pretty uh, intense. It is, actually. The Knight family stripped the house last night. Everything's gone, including the somnambulator. They locked us out of the garage. Don't know about you, but I got the who. That'd be kind of freaky, wouldn't it? Problem is Jay. Yeah. When the Knight family activates, just blend in. Make them think you're Night Summer. If you start to nod off, suck on this too. What is it? A cocktail of Mountain Dew and Dayquil. The kids in Southern Europe call it Dewquil. It smells gross. <laughs> you find this on sure you were souping up that somnambu whatever so they could extend its range beyond the house but i defeated that shit when i put the thing on me oh that's amazing almost got punched but yeah say this is like a goosebumps it. episode yeah it, it's i really like it i'm actually a little yeah. intrigued man yes shoney's pancakes all right brunch is on me. well that's not uh, gonna happen for us anymore not, nope, is it not it her opinion means very little to me did you think you could stop me with this oh my god i suggest you sleep on it <gasps> she's night summer thanks jerry <laughs> for the day to serve the night night was here long before day half of all time <laughs> oh. no time to get night there's viewers <laughs> no <laughs> Coming out of this shit. Maybe his correspondence is gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Kids don't up a night. I 
feel like Rick's not gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> Let's go home, right, Grandpa? Great idea, Summer. <laughs> the bank repossessed the car. Oh man, I got logged out of my Twitter account and don't know my password. Shit. We spent all the day people. Money. Whoa, how long have we been? Oh my god, no, they killed the Choco Taco. <laughs> <laughs> What's the chocolate? I have talking? no idea. What do you think? I loved it, and for just many different reasons than I normally love Rick and Morty. It was, yeah, a more intense episode in terms of just the ambience. Yeah, they did a good job of making it feel like a scary horror, and they kind of transformed like an eighties action flick. I will say, um, I know you never seen Doctor Who, but the greatest enemy of the Doctor is the Daleks, and they they sound exactly like those robot things flying around. Mm. We are the Daleks. Except there's like there's like two or three weird little robot things. Yeah, there's like a they're like a cone looking. They thing. look funny. Yeah, they look yeah. funny yeah, for sure. Yeah. But they they don't want to uh, they don't want to divulge too much from the original design from like the you know the '60s. So it's yeah, they look funny in my opinion. Well, um, so we had the it really reminded me of Goosebumps. Yeah, for some reason I do love Goosebumps. Kind of that classic kind of like almost a harmless horror, but yeah. it's kind of. There's a horror element to it, but you know people aren't getting their heads cut off, and there's not yeah, they're not getting their heads cut. But it's not always a like a bunch of teenagers banging everywhere, and Voorhees showing up to cut people up with machetes. Or yeah, it's stuff. like a like a mind fuck, like something horrifying, like a horrifying concept. Well, the whole idea that just he won't rinse his fucking dishes. Yeah, and he still would not do it even at the end. Yeah, until they <laughs> literally kill themselves. Yeah. So, by none of this happens, what would you do if you had a night person? If I could use one to do something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, part of me thinks I can get more done, but it's like, it's just shit I should do while I'm awake. No, I agree. But I would definitely use it to get in shape. <laughs> I guess I'd be concerned. That obviously, your body is still being worked. It's not getting well, any yeah. rest. Uh, obviously, with this technology, there isn't any consequences to... Yeah. Yeah, so... It, I mean, it, if that were the case, then yeah, I'd probably do like the simple things. That, yeah. aren't, that, aren't, that aren't mentally rewarding. Yeah, I wouldn't like... But even, like, working out is mentally rewarding, so... It, it is, but it just... I mean, I guess if I could edit... That'd be, uh, yeah, that'd be a good I one would point. edit. <laughs> <laughs> I would edit these videos. Yeah, okay. I see that. I'd clean the house, I guess. Yeah, that too. Like, the clean. rudimentary shit yeah. that I never seem to have time for during the week. Mm -hmm. Doing the laundry, cleaning the house, doing yeah. the dishes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Washing the animals. Yep. Uh, fucking... Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? That kind of shit. Shampooing the carpet... Yeah. Cleaning my truck. Yeah. You wake up, it's all just nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, servicing my truck and shit. Mm hmm Shit that I, I do it all day at work and I don't want to do it when I get home, so I keep putting that off. Yeah. So. I like to see where Rick goes out to however many units of measurement in the Forbidden Zone. They were called Marmadukes. Marmadukes. And... Because Marmaduke is a great Dane in a cartoon. Oh. That's why I remember. Okay. Well, I did not know that. And the only reason I know that's because my daughters went and saw the movie. Okay. They told me about it. So. I, uh, Unbreakable Dishes, I thought that was funny. That he went that far instead of just washing his own dishes. And there was nothing else to it. You never hear about it again. Yeah. I love this. He's like, you owe me. <laughs> yeah. He's like, why? <laughs> but it's and, great. Uh, uh, Mountain Dew and Day Quill. I thought that was funny. Dew Quill. Dew Quill, yeah. The big takeaway for me in this episode is Shoney's is gone here. Yeah, it is gone in Marietta. And, and Parkersburg. Oh, really? Yeah. Jesus. We don't have a Shoney's here anymore. So the big question we're going to leave you people with is do you have a Shoney's and do you like it? All right, thanks everyone for tuning in here. If you like what we do, like and subscribe. Hit the thank you button down below. It helps us. If you don't want to, you can comment and like or subscribe and it helps the algorithm. It leaves a negative not. comment, yeah. And negative <laughs> comments work too. We get them. Um, you know, there's a Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. There's a link tree in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. You'll find it if you